gold. Up in smoke. Welcome to Goat Up in Smoke, week three. We are back at the Health and Wellness Center. This time we're gonna do more of just uh, where my vitals are at and get a bit more information on what my options are. So hopefully my blood pressure's all right and um, maybe we'll, I'll, uh, I'll decide on maybe taking uh, medication because, you know, don't know much about what each medication does. Know a little information, but hopefully we learn what one's best for me and maybe give you the confidence to see which one's best for you. So let's find out what's going on. Basically what I'm doing right now is I'm looking down at a bunch of questions, whether I'm anorexic, bulimic, if I have a history of heart disease or heart attacks in my family. As of right now, it's looking like a bunch of no's, but the blood pressure we'll find out here, <laughs> I guess. Am I pregnant? If you have a prior history of, you know, any cardiac problems, heart conditions, things like that, the provider needs to know that. Here's the form, sir. All right. Let's go ahead and put this on. Okay. Oh, look, I have no pulse. That's amazing. All right, 127 over 64. Your pulse is 88. You're actually really good. No. Oh, um, cool. If you had anything over 140, and, uh, you know, if you're pulse was, say, in the 100s, 101, 102, things like that, then, you know, we'd be a, there'd be a concern. Which medication are you interested in? Uh, I believe we talked about Zyban originally. Okay. I'm confident that with the right dedication and perseverance following the guidelines that we talk about in our classes, any member and anybody in the Spang Dalham community can, in fact, rid themselves completely of this deadly, nasty habit. That's, this prop here is actually pretty cool. A year's worth of tar. This is kind of interesting. It's actually got like an old nasty marble pack in there and a couple butts, but can you imagine that? A year's worth of tar. That's what my lungs look like. All right, so that was the Health and Wellness Center. Definitely learned some new information and found a medication that might be good for me. So let's drop by the pharmacy and uh, see how they can help. So he said that these uh, pills can make you have crazy dreams. Yeah, yeah, well so can valerian root though. I mean, I don't know, my dreams are pretty crazy as it is. And it scares me a little bit. Just waking up with night sweats and everything like that, I'd like to avoid those situations. But according to Sarn's lab, according to the hawk, Zyban might be my best option. I'm still not in the mindset of I'm a non-smoker. I still think of myself as a smoker, even though it's been three weeks. All right, we're now at the medical center. Let's go get some pills. I have an office right here. All right. We we're in a good spot, actually. You're the only patient, so let's go chat. Okay. It's really a great medication. It got approved for smoking cessation because people have a lot of good success with the medication. And that it's my job to let you know about the side effects so that you're aware of them. But ultimately, people have really good results with the Zyban. So I don't want me talking about the side effects to scare you off from thinking of it as a, as a really great tool to help with quitting smoking. All those side effects sounded like they were good things to me. Um, <laughs> well, you're, not, you're no longer gonna eat like a fatty. Um, you already got sleep problems, and uh, it helps people with depression. So you, you're most likely going to feel happy thoughts, won't eat as much, and your sleep problems, those can't get any worse. So as far as I was concerned, uh, two out of three of those sound awesome. I wish most side effects were like that. All right, thanks a lot. Best of luck to you. Thank and you so I much. see you in about a month. Yes, ma'am. I hope so, too. Thank you so much for your help. You bet. All right, this has been Goat Up and Smoke Week 3. I picked up a prescription of Zyban, so hopefully this prescription will work for me in uh, my quest to quit smoking. So whether you're doing a cold turkey or with a prescription, it's always good to know what your options are for quitting smoking. Follow the AFN Spangdalem YouTube vlog, Goat Up and Smoke, where next week I will be doing my mile and a half time seeing how bad it is with tar in my lungs still. And um, 
we'll, I'll keep you updated on how the Zyband's working for me. So follow me, Goat Up and Smoke. Goat Up and Smoke.